let's jump on the computer. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and move myself there. First up is an e-commerce store, right? And I'm, I'm making this up obviously, but, but we're trying to be focused so we can talk through this logically uh, with a really actual working example here. So um, a beauty e-commerce store, something in the beauty space, um, skincare, hair care, wrinkle cream are the three areas I'm going for. This individual would be looking for topics to write blog posts on and also um, how to optimize their actual e-commerce product listing pages for specific keyword phrases to potentially rank them. So here I am. This is the keyword tool that I use. It's at milesbeckler.com forward slash KW finder. There will be a link that pops up above my head, pretty much right on top of me right now above my head. Uh, that you can click on. It'll open it. You do get a few free searches. I've been a paid member of this for over two years now. I am an affiliate, uh, but really this is the only tool that I use. And I'll be honest, in the uh, 15 years I've been making money online, uh, the one tool I always have a paid access to is a keyword research tool. It's just that important. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're into it now. We're going to go look at skincare. And obviously there's a lot of... Um, you know, competition in this space. You have companies like Proactive that I think is a billion dollar company in this space. So this is what I wanna show you is how to look within what may feel like an oversaturated niche that has way too much competition and how to actually find those gems that have really good numbers. So now it loads and you can see right off the top, uh, am I, I mean, I'm, I'm spot on with this one. Skincare, 163,000 searches, $1.36 per click. And the keyword difficulty is almost 60, which is ridiculous, especially if you're just getting started. Um, skincare products. So what do you do in this situation? Well, the first thing I do is I sort by the keyword difficulty score and you got to click it twice. And what happens is we're now sorting by the lowest competition phrases first. Now I want you to see something about this tool. You notice how this 18 green bubble and this is the column i'm looking at is the one that has the colors in it how it's kind of a lighter shade of green that means they haven't updated that keyword difficulty score in a long time so it might not be relevant all you need to do is you click on the actual number and it reruns that search and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up here in the right after it reruns the search and finds out what that new current keyword difficulty score is these other ones were searched relatively recently so they showed us an index now do you see it went to 26 and it kind of disappeared from me here but if i scroll down since i have them ranked in order right here it is is under 26. Now this is this is the money right here. So anti-aging treatments to show up with 1500 search volume and a 19 keyword difficulty score. Man, that's incredible. Like literally those numbers are absolutely incredible. You could potentially be getting something like 6 or 700 um new clicks to your site a month and a keyword difficulty under 20 is really extremely easy. So I'm going to click on this one because I want to see what shows up down here in the bottom right area, which is going to show me what the Google results are displaying. I want to see if there's YouTube videos showing in the results at this point. So I'm just looking, there's a couple of them that are pretty weak. There's a couple of them that are relatively high. Um, but all in all, this looks like a good opportunity. Um, what we're looking at here on this lower right corner is the actual results in Google. Now you can see there's some very strong websites on there, but then there's some of these websites on there that have very low numbers. They have a low number of backlinks. What that means is this page has great content or the odds are that this page has great content um, because Google's trying to learn how to rank content regardless of the number of backlinks. So when you see these, what I would call almost anomalies of extremely low um, landing page scores on top of Google, it generally means they have great content. So go read their content. You can just click the link right here. It'll actually open it inside of a new tab. Go see the kind of content that Google thinks is great enough to rank over some of these sites that have, you know, like many links and a lot more authority. So that was the first one. We just kind of ran through this. I'm going to leave this here. I would, I would personally go through them all. And one other note on this tool, as you see the ones that you like, you're like, okay, skin therapy, that's my people. Best organic skincare. I can definitely do a post on that. Um, Anti-aging facial perfect so you click these you use this add to list function at the bottom 
when you click add to list, you get to name the list and the other option is to export it. And you can definitely export these, but if you're going to go search three, four or five different phrases over time and you export each one, you'll have to juggle a bunch of different, um, like, uh, Excel files, like CSVs or, um, XLS files. And that's just no fun having to work within those. That's what the list functionality is for. You choose all the ones that you like, you add them to a list, you go to your next search, you choose all the ones you like, you add them to the list, then you can export the whole list at once. So I'm going to search up to, to show you what I would do second on this. So let's say I added those to my list, which I'm not because I'm not in the niche. Um, hair care is the next one I'm going to search. And I'm just going to run the same process. And I'm going to show you another little trick in this one. I'm trying to go um, incrementally. We're going to give you a little bit more information about how this works with each one. But the big goal here is to help you see that with this simple tool and a little patience, right? It's crunching a lot of data for us right now that you can go into these really challenging, right? A 48 is a very difficult keyword score for a site that has good authority, let alone a site that that's brand new. It's, it's flat out impossible, but you sort by keyword difficulty and now you start to find the ones that you might be able to rank for. But this is the second kind of little uh, learning moment for you in this tool. You notice how these ones don't have any data showing up at all. That means no one's searching it. So, or no one has searched it in since they've refreshed their cache. What a cache is, is this tool is kind of remembering every time I search and every time I pull up a new keyword difficulty score, it just remembers it for a certain amount of time after that amount of time. And it goes back at least two or three months. Um, after that time, it stops it from the index, or if no one's ever searched it on this tool before, it doesn't yet have it. So what you would do is you would just click on the little magnifying glass, but you want to use it sparingly because you only get a certain number of credits each day on this tool. So how I go through this is I'm scrolling down, looking for the ones that have a high search volume that are really, really specific to my people. So hair dye products might be that super specific thing. I'm going to kick, click on the magnifying glass to search it. And it's going to show me what the keyword difficulty is up here on the right. But again, it's going to move it from the list because it's going to go put it in order based on that. So this one was a 48 difficulty. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to keep moving down, looking for the different items. Um, I don't know what Goldwell hair products are, so I'll search that one real quick. And then I'm going to keep searching down until we get to the green ones at this point. Um, but if this is your real research session, you're going to go through each one of these. Are these my people's questions? Are, are my people asking these questions? Are my best customers interested in this specific question? And then you're looking for one. So that one was 25, which was easy. So if that brand is a brand you stock and carry, bingo, you now know you could probably get your category page ranking. You could probably go create a blog post with the 10 best, whatever that brand was, Goldwell hair products. Um, and that blog post might be able to rank and it would link back to each one of your product listings on your e e-commerce store. So that's how you can leverage it. Um, I'm seeing down here, all natural hair care products. And you might think, well, 41 searches per month, but if you can hit the first page of Google for that with one blog post, you can crank out in an afternoon. Or if you could reformat your category page to get the category page with all of your natural hair care product listings showing up correctly, it's worth your effort because that becomes an asset for you for years and years and years. It might generate a few dozen clicks per month, but you might be able to convert one, two, three percent of those clicks to actual customers. And that's how each blog post can be an asset when you focus on it correctly. So now we're at the point where we get to the ones that are already searched for us. Us. Um, and you can see right here, like hair care for long hair. What a great blog post. If you have actual hair care supplies, um, we would search what that is. And I'll, I'll take a look at what that one is. Um, keratin hair treatment, hair growth shampoo, all of these different things. If you stock these products, these are low. This one gets 33,000 searches per month and it has extremely low keyword difficulty score. Um, that one turned up as 30 for the hair care for long hair. So I would focus on the ones that are 20, 21, 25 and have really high search volume versus the ones that are like 27 and have 90 search volume. Does this make sense to you? I'm going to move on to the kind of business model number two, which is it could, it could potentially be looked at as a local business, but I think the best example is for a virtual coaching. So let's say you do virtual fitness coaching or virtual weight loss coaching, right? So your perfect client is someone who wants to work out more, but they want to have some flexibility and freedom. They want to meet you on a zoom or a Skype, and they want to do their one-on-one -on -one session with you out of their home. 
So that's what you know about your people because that's how your business model works. Uh, or you're a weight loss consultant and you know you're looking for people who are kind of starting down the workout world so you can help them with their workouts, but you also offer the diet side of things. So it's one-on-one -on -one coaching is what I'm getting at and it's done virtually remotely from anywhere in the world. So then you think, what would my best people be searching for? I came up with three ideas. We might only go through two of them because I think I just want to keep this um, efficient. People searching for home gym equipment are probably ready to work out and lose weight. These could be great individuals for you to meet with, um, body weight exercises, or even the idea of kettlebells, right? Like somebody who wants to buy some kettlebells and they're researching kettlebells, they might be a perfect opportunity. So let's jump in. And I think the home gym space is incredibly challenging, right? Like everybody knows that home gyms are expensive, that they're run, there's a few corporations that have some mega, mega influence in the space, like the Bowflex Corporation. So for a individual to be able to niche out a spot on the first page of Google for someone searching a relevant phrase to home gyms because they know that's what their people are searching, we got to get creative. And how do we do that? Well, first we run our search that we know our people are searching for. Then we sort by keyword difficulty so the lowest ones are first. The first thing I'm seeing here is home gym online. I find that to be super interesting. I'm going to click on the question or on the little magnifying glass to get my keyword difficulty score. So now I'm going to scroll down to the numbers to where we can see the actual numbers showing up. That's a lot of phrases up there. Perfect. So 39. So it's not a great one based on that because we have right here, compact home gym has almost 1100 searches per month, which means that you could get somewhere around 600 or so searches per month. If you dominate the number one spot and the difficulty score on this is literally 16 people are paying almost $2 a click for this. And you could literally go rank it with a great blog post. Um, but I think you would want to look at some of these other ones as well. And you got to go through them one by one to really, uh, like, an all-in-one exercise machine for home. You got to go through these one by one on the ones that are hyper relevant to your people and also have good search volume. If you're new and you have a brand new site, I would try to keep your numbers under 25 or 30. If you're, if you know what your domain authority is and your page authority, you can go to Moz and find that out to opensiteexplorer.org. Um, if you have a domain authority in the twenties, you can start to look up to the thirties in the ranking. But if you're new, you're just getting your kind of, um, your, your SEO bearings, right? You you've gone through my learn SEO, free SEO class link will pop up above. You know how to lay it out. Now you're just shooting for those keywords and you want to get some, some victories on your belt. Stick with the green ones, 20, 21, 22, anything in the teens are super easy. So next I want to go look at, um, body weight exercises because somebody searching for body weight exercises means that they don't want to go buy gym equipment. They want to do push-ups and, and sit-ups and, and chin-ups and other types of exercises that don't require equipment. This is another thing that a kind of a fitness instructor would be all about in this situation. And we have it loading again, 33,000 people search it and it's very difficult. So we're looking for the easy ones. You would go through all of those different ones showing up, but even on this one, I just want to show you that every phrase we go through here, not only is it going to have a lot of opportunity that no one's even dug into, hence them not having that magnifying glass showing the actual numbers, but they all have green ones as well. You can see body weight training. What is this one protocol? Um, 20 search volume, best body weight exercises for weight loss. Oh my gosh. That is someone who's searching. That is exactly the right person. And if you think, well, it's only 382 people per month, but they're the perfect people for that business model. And that's why it matters. And that's why it's worth putting out content for that phrase. I'm often optimizing my blog posts and videos for phrases that get 80, hundred, 200, 300. There's no competition. I know I'm going to hit the first spot in Google. I know I'm going to hit the first spot in YouTube. I'm going to get traffic for life from that one keyword phrase. It's worth it for an afternoon for me to go gobble up that market share. The last one we're going to go into is someone who has a membership program or a course and a membership program and a course really allows you to do even more content marketing. I think you could usually go uh, wider with your net. So let's say it's a productivity course is what they're teaching. So they teach you how to be more productive. The three ideas that I have is time management, product management, and obviously productivity itself. So someone who's searching for like how to be more productive is what I'm going to search right now. Now let's just search productivity. 
And the reason I changed that, if I search how to be more productive, it might limit my results and it might narrow me too much because I've put too many words in, right? So I wanna use a generic phrase, a shorter phrase at first, and then let the tool tell me what those longer tail keyword phrases are. And right here we can see this is this is a hard keyword phrase to rank for 90,000 searches so let's just double click on our keyword difficulty let's scroll down until we get to the numbers and you can see right here there's a plethora of them personal productivity software so you could write a best personal productivity software for 2019 not only could that potentially bring someone into your world as a membership member uh, but you could also have affiliate links inside of that post and earn additional income on the side there um, productivity report productivity consultant my goodness they're literally looking for you and it's a 24 keyword difficulty office productivity tools it just proves that it's right there. I'm gonna do one more for project management, which I think is gonna be really saturated. Because somebody who's trying to get better at product management, they're all about productivity, right? That might be a, a meeting point. Maybe it's not. I'm just kind of uh, going off the cuff here. Obviously, if that was your business model, you would know a lot more about it. Um, and I think we will do one more after this, just, just to really round this out. I spend, I don't spend all that much time in this tool each and every day, but I spend, I come back to this tool more often than any other tool that I use. It's like this WordPress and YouTube are where I really live, right? I'm in my WordPress dashboard, I'm in my YouTube, and I've got this open in another tab, and I'm popping in and out of this. So product project management, 302,000 searches. So that just proves that there is a ton of interest in this area, and you can see instantly um, project resource management, free project management templates, development project manager. I mean, this one has a lot of low keyword difficulty. And again, these lightly grayed out ones means you need to click on it and it's gonna change. And when it changes, it reorganizes where it's at based on the new number. So you can see the new number when it shows up here, kind of highlights it light blue. And once it runs that number, so you might have seven free project management templates and you're meeting your people who want to get better at project management through the templates. So it turns out this one has gotten more difficult. Some will get less difficult when you search that. I have definitely seen it, but you really want to go through these ones that haven't been ranked yet and look for these ones like business project manager, a thousand searches, almost a $5 click. What's the difficulty on that? But that's it. I'm going to call it on this video, but really quick. I think if you get it and you understand it and you're ready, jump on that keyword tool. It's milesbecker.com forward slash KW finder. When you take the time to find these low difficulty phrases, everything about your content marketing is going to work better. You're going to get more traffic more quickly, and you're going to enjoy the process. You're going to feel better because you're going to start to get wins. Whereas if you're going after productivity and, and project management, and you know that they've got, you know, difficulty scores of 66, that's like a three year keyword phrase. But if you're going after the ones that are 19, 20, 22, 16, 24, you'll start to rank for those quickly, which means you'll start to get traffic quickly. This motivates you to continue to double down on your business to continue to go all in on the content marketing and you got to leverage that momentum right momentum builds on momentum so that's the first big thing if you want more about the psychology and about this keyword tool i do have a longer keyword research video where i went really deep in for a local business that sells clothing and hiking equipment it's kind of an outdoor store in the tahoe area that link will pop up above my head. So watch that if you want more. The other component that fits with this is SEO. Here on the end screen, my SEO, my Learn SEO class will pop up. It is a full SEO class, which is once you know what your keyword phrases are and you write out the content for it, how do you lay that out on your WordPress blog in a way that's gonna prove to Google that you are the best optimized post for that phrase? Because that's how you land the number one spot. That's how you get the most traffic. So on the end screen, click the learn SEO video, go watch that. Be sure you like and subscribe and engage. And I thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.